jig. Just pop that jig right along that edge. Oh, there it is. You went in? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Nice. Go another one on. You know, this fog's working in even more. And Terry, you talked about having a plan, working the right, working this plan, and you followed it just exactly like you said we were going to do. It's amazing. Well, you know, Andy, when you get adverse conditions, you got to pull out the map, you got to line up the wind and the tide, you got to find these good spots to fish and just get out there and do it. Yeah, you know, Terry, that's a great point. I think probably the, the hardest part about this fishing is, is actually finding a body of fish because they could be in so many different places, you know? Yeah, well, once you get on them, a couple of different presentations are probably going to work. Once again, you just got to get in the right spot. All right, here we go, guys. He's coming. This fish is close. Man, what current is really working this fish. Well, I'll tell you one thing for sure. We're not going to, no, no lack of bait with this current. <laughs> Here, Here we go, Terry. Oh, I'm just going to take a one. step or two back, get you some room. Beautiful. All right, hang on. I'm getting his head in the current. There he goes again. And you know, uh, Terry, we talked earlier also about the braid mono connection. Okay, here we go. And you nice. know, we got if you him. look at this, a lot of times, Danny, when you really he's in, you see how the grass grabs that spro swivel? Yeah. Oh, he's a beauty. It actually keeps it off the plug sometimes, I think. What do you think? Nice. Yeah, and, and actually keep, keeps your rig clean. That's a nice looking fish oh, right yeah. there. Look at that. That's a beauty. You said we're not going to see a weak fish under five, six pounds, and so far you're right. right. Let's just get this fish a little bit closer. I'm going to try to slip back under him. Terry, a little full. Not yet. We ain't doing not it. Not yet, Rich. Not yet. Here he comes. Almost had him there. Next pass. You know, it's just one of those things. You just got to be patient. Yep. Exactly. Work the you fish don't want to horse them, obviously. Tension all the way. Wow. That is a beautiful looking fish right there. I'll tell you, I know why people get so excited about these fish. Just looking at the colors on oh, this fish right here. Oh, they're just beautiful. You know, Big yellow tail. If, even if we don't catch this fish, we've seen them for a long time. <laughs> so this is pretty good. I'm very excited right now. Doesn't count until I touch him, Rich. Oh, oh. There he goes. Actually, I thought it was the leader. <laughs> I might have got the leader with the net. You know, the nice up. thing is, while you guys are fighting that fish, I'm just changing rigs, <laughs> switching it up. Yeah. Just you can't try to, get him this you, last couple feet. Like you want to try to walk back a little bit, Terry? I'm going to go. He's in. There All you right. go. How do you feel right now? He's in the net? <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty good, buddy. Wow. Let's take a look at this fish. He's oh, over eight look pounds, buddy. Look at the tide, though. I can't even lift him out of the water with the net. <laughs> How the heck did you do that with a rod and reel? Oh, that's a gorgeous oh, fish. Oh, baby. That is a gorgeous that fish. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That's, that's what we came for. Here. That is gorgeous. Oh, man. Terry. Beautiful, Rich. Oof. Look beautiful. at the size of that weak fish. That's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous fish right there.